I want to show you a garden now that proves that you can create a really exciting and beautiful relaxing oasis in a very small space indeed. Fiona and Toby started working on their garden about two years ago and it's only about eight by four metres. Fiona's a dancer with the Sydney Dance Company and Toby, well, he's an opera singer and their garden is as creative and inventive as they are. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Toby? Very well, how are oh, you? On the coffee machine already? Oh, yes, absolutely. First thing. First thing. <laughs> Good morning. morning. How are you? Very well, thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Wow. Isn't this beautiful? It's amazing how many hours you can spend doing oh, yes. next to nothing out yes. there. How did you get all the stone in through the house? All the stonework, except for the flat pavers, came from under, in the ground here. Good gracious me. Yeah. Yeah. So we were lucky with these three convict stones. Yeah, they're beautiful. Interesting, very eclectic group of plants from the Bougainville on one side, star jasmine, and a whole lot in between. Where did you sort of come up with the ideas of the plant selection? Oh, it was a bit of a mix, actually. So some of it existed here, and we potted it up, saved it. Right. Um, and other things we found off the street, like the frangipani. Oh, really? Someone thought it might have been dead in the winter when it didn't have any leaves, so we just nabbed it. That looks like mondo grass in amongst the steppers. It certainly is. Uh, it was another uh, inherit from the house when we arrived. Come in. My world, I've got to show, show, show you. And will you look at this? What a great green wall that is. My pride at the moment. How many years old is it? Uh, I put it up there about a year ago. But you've got a, a really interesting collection of plants. Where did you buy them all? Uh, well, my mum gave me most of the succulents hey, on the wall. Mom. <laughs> and they grow actually fairly quickly, so I just chop them up and put them in new cavities, and they just keep multiplying. You got a bit of a big red in there as well. I got a big red in there. Yeah, geranium and begonias. The begonias. And a coleus. Yes. Now, if you prune them back and then spray a bit of fertilizer on them, they'll come back. Awesome. So you've got the, the permanent root system yeah. and then new fresh growth because it gets a little bit ratty after a while when they finish flowering. Okay. The other problem that a lot of people ask me about is potting mix. So how did you overcome that problem? Um, I tried a few different things and I've kind of settled with the coir. Oh, coir peat. Yeah, peat. Uh huh. Um, Shove a few water crystals in just to help them. One of its advantages, uh, coconut fibre, it, it'll stay where you put it. Yes, it where doesn't fall out. Uh, that's really clever. The couple have used some very smart ideas to make the most of such a small area. There's no actual boundary between the house and the garden. It comes right out into the landscape. And the grey that was inside the kitchen is now the fence colour. Have a look what they've done here. Some very clever little tricks. Firstly, the verticals. That's what you've got to look at. They've created a lot of privacy here. They've got some wire on both sides that they're growing. Star jasmine, some gelsemium, the Carolina jasmine. And then, of course, you've got the hanging baskets of the creeping iris up there. And, of course, once you've solved the verticals, it's then the horizontal. Look, you go from one level to the next another level right up the top here and that all creates interest in a very small area it's only a small garden but it feels like a very big space not only great out in the garden but you've built most of this yourselves inside this table was the old fence outside and a kitchen bench the kitchen bench was the old roof rafters um, of the original house. He's a yeah. very clever he's fellow, isn't he? Yeah, you want to keep him around, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> You're oh. here at our favourite time of day. Oh. It's Martini o'clock. It's a fabulous garden. Here's to many more curtain calls. Thank you very much. The only better thing could be just a little number, a little note. Libia, mo Libia, mo nell'etico. That's all you're getting. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Cheers. That's fantastic. Thank you very much.